What's up guys, it's Eric from b -Side. Today we are going to be installing another shift power throttle response controller on this 2023 Toyota Tundra. This is the V6 turbo model and we're very, very excited to do to install this. It's our first time installing this to this vehicle. I know TRD John did it. And for you followers of TRD John, um, he has a really nice video that he made with his truck and how the whole app works and how he's been using it. So pretty excited to do it on a local vehicle here today and I'm going to show you how easy it is to install it. It's all plug and play. It just plugs behind the acceleration pedal, super easy. And we found a nice place to mount the button. So we're going to go ahead and show you that as well. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so the first step we want to do to install this throttle response controller is after you turn off your engine, turn off your car, make sure you lock it and then you can unlock it. That will make sure that your car is asleep so that there's no signals going through the acceleration pedal because if, you, if there is any signals going through the acceleration pedal, you unplug it, then you might get a check engine light. So to prevent that, make sure you put your car to sleep, just, just lock it and unlock it and that does the trick. All right, and next we're gonna go to the driver's side. We're gonna locate the connector for the acceleration pedal. We're gonna unplug it and I'm gonna daisy chain our harness into it and we're gonna route our button and set up our phone and that's it so let's go ahead get inside the car and get started okay so we are in the car on the driver's side we're just gonna look down here and if you look push the under panel up and you'll find the connector it's a great connector um it's very easily accessible some vehicles you need to remove this under tray it looks like for this vehicle you do not have to and here it is i'm gonna just go ahead and press on the release tab and pull straight up so a lot of people they might be tempted to pull it like to the left just because of your hand position um it won't come out that way so it's just very important you have to be pulling pulling it straight up and push really firm on the release tab the release tab is on the inside part right here okay i'm gonna have to use some finger power okay there it is all right here it is and then connect our plug and play t harness all right make sure you hear a snap into place like so and the other side will snap into like that okay so after all that's connected we have this opening here we're going to connect our button to it okay here's our button and this part is where it connects but before we do so let's go ahead and route it we're going to go ahead and mount the button here probably gonna might have to cut out a little slit down here and just route the cable all the way down there so we're going to go ahead and do that now all right so we're going to go ahead and pop this out to do that we'll have to pull this panel out here um you can use a panel removal tool let me see if i could just okay there it is i just do it with my fingers um, if you have a difficult time pulling out with your finger, just place a panel removal tool in here and just pry it back. Okay, so we're going to go back here and going to push on the release tab and push the button, the switch blank out. Okay. All right, so there's a release tab on this side. Um, it was difficult to push this out, so we grabbed flat head and pry this outwards and then pull it out, which is easier. All right, so let me see if this gives us enough room for us to just pinch it through. If not, we will go ahead and trim this. All right, just so to go over everything I just did, so I went ahead and mounted the button here. There was enough room under here to be able to pinch the wire through. I have the wire coming out here, and then I brought the module all the way up here, and I zip tied it to this bracket, and just in case, so it won't make any noise, I went ahead and I put some foam tape on the left side of the module where it could make contact to the bracket. So that's there. And then all we have to do is just put everything back and we'll be done with the install. And this goes here, goes there. Once everything is installed and connected, let's go ahead and turn on the car just to make sure everything is okay. And let me go ahead and show you how to connect this. 
to your phone app. All right, so once everything is connected and installed, first thing you want to do is you want to go and download the app. It's called Shift Power. Shift Power by Faftech. We already downloaded it, so we're just going to go ahead and open this. Once you open the app, you'll see something like this is disconnected. You're going to select the car emblem or the car icon, I meant, and then go ahead and connect. It's going to ask you for the password to the pairing request and go to your user manual and you'll find it. And just in case, if you ever lose your user manual, it's also written on the module, the same sticker. So if you look over here, I see the password. You're going to type in the password. X3, going to pair it and go ahead and select your vehicle. This is a Toyota and then Tundra 2023. All right, here we go. Every time we push the button, you'll see that it cycles through different modes. And if you want something between it, you could drag your finger and get exactly what you want. And then once you figure out what setting you like, you could go to your settings, go to mode settings, and you could change all your presets in your mode settings. You can also adjust the three different acceleration curves, linear, dynamic, exponential. Usually for a heavier vehicle, linear is the, mode, is, is the preferred one. Exponential is for sports cars. All right, and then there's some other settings they could go through, like illumination and the buttons and so forth. Let me go over a really cool feature that we have. So, okay, so we also have the echo mode, which is adjustable, try to save some gas mileage. We also have an anti-theft mode, you could lock your throttle. So you're here, you're pressing on the acceleration pedal. This shows you how much it's being pressed, but because of shift power, nothing's happening. So this is a good anti-theft device where if someone manages to break into your car, turn on the engine, they still won't be able to drive anywhere. Uh, we also have the valet mode. So this valet mode, you valet your vehicle, and you restrict them to how much acceleration they, they have because sometimes one of your concerns might be you know, they'll valet your vehicle and they'll go do some peel out so they'll go floor your vehicles, right? So this prevents them from doing so. For example, I'm gonna go all the way down to 15% and if they try to floor it, it's, 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 the car's not gonna give much. Um, this gives you, see it stops right here, right? Even though they push more, that's all you get. And just to give you a little bit of a um, sample of how this works. So right now, this is at off position. Just a little bit of acceleration here, okay? And if you change the modes, see, it just shows you. Okay, on my feet, um, the amount of acceleration I was giving is the same, but we just changed to the mode. So it just changes that much, that much throttle response, especially on the low end. All right, let's go ahead and go for a test drive and see what the owner thinks about this upgrade. So we went ahead and installed the Shift Power app on this little Android device we have installed in this vehicle. So right now it's on the off position. This device is really cool. It shows you how much acceleration is being pressed relative to what the Shift Power is giving. And because it's on the off position, they're both showing the same level. But once we change it up, It'll show you the difference that it makes. All right, let's go ahead and up the mode. Let me, let me try Super Sport. Oh, there is already a difference. 100%. Yeah, the power is on demand. It didn't really have much of a lag, but whatever it did have, it, it's gone. It's gone. Yeah. All right. Awesome. Alright guys, well that concludes our installation demonstration with a little bit of our customers' um, opinion on what they think about our product. If you have any questions, leave a comment below or you can also email us at info at bsonicusa.com. If you haven't yet, make sure you like and subscribe to our video and I'll see you guys on the next video. Thank you.